August 4th, 2016, I was diagnosed with stage two triple negative breast cancer. Cancer was one of my worst fears and it happened. You never think it would happen to you or someone close to your family. And when I found out, I was the first thing I thought, okay, let me cry for two days, fine. Let me be mad at the world. And then you just have to plan accordingly. Especially if you have a child, you have a family. How are you? When I first met Dr. Belija, I had my whole family. They had my husband, my uncle, my mom, my sister. So it was a good outing. How's your family? Silvana had a stage two triple negative breast cancer, which is a fairly uncommon uh, form of breast cancer. Only about 10 to 20% of all breast cancers are triple negative. When a younger woman develops breast cancer, they're really at risk for dying from their disease. And so that's why we have to be aggressive so that we can make sure it doesn't progress to the stage four or later stage disease. At the John Thurer Cancer Center, we do provide a team approach. And generally, we meet about the patients before we even meet them in the office. So I had spoken to Dr. Belizia, her breast surgeon, and we had decided that going forward with chemotherapy before surgery made the most sense. She said it, you know, from the beginning, your chemo is gonna be very aggressive. You will lose your hair. And I remember I was supposed to get married, and I was thinking of maybe I postpone chemo, wait six months after, and then I'll start chemo. And she said, no. She goes, no, we're not doing this. Because of the chemotherapy, I was able to save Silvana's breasts. I didn't have to remove as much breast tissue. So really, she didn't have much of an alteration to the shape and look of her breast other than a scar. In poco tiempo, in la recuperación, we had a great results with chemo and with our surgery. She did amazing. You can't even see my scar. Here we are able to, especially in our most aggressive cases, put forth a treatment plan and execute it extremely quickly. We like to make sure that we give our patients the fighting chance, the best chance that they have to survive their cancer and live cancer free. My family and I are very grateful. You took us in right away and you're very dedicated to everything. And once again, thank you so much, Dr. Belisha. Can I hug you again? <laughs> I don't like seeing you. Great. So I'm Savannah, I'm a wife, I'm a mother, I'm a teacher, and a breast cancer survivor. And I'm extra.